Hi, this is Miss D from D Special Things. Hey, I just thought I would come and share with you something I got in the mail this week. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Tab Punch Board. Great, huh? Yes, so all of you um, planner girls, <laughs> you're going to love this. You're absolutely going to love it. Um, people that make journals, mini albums, <laughs> this is going to come in handy. Or if you just want to do folders. I don't like the tabs for the folders, but mm, because they really look like tabs. They go in the notebooks for the planners and stuff. Now this has only a few little parts. This right here is merely for your side tab or a corner rounder. And it says it there if you can see it. And then these are your margins, your your side tabs really. And you have uh, small, medium, and large. And that's basically it. This little cutting tray. If you all remember Creative Memories cutting systems, I still have mine. Yes. All you do is yes, same concept and cut. Okay? So I'm going to show you what I put together just so that you could see how easy it is to come up with. And I use my 365 um, binding system yeah so there you go I use a pouch here I'm gonna make this a I just put it together so I could show you how it works I have the craft postcards in here and this is the top the bottom you could put as many indexes in here as you want as you can see there's three right there I even did a whole one where I just cut off each side and I have a middle one there. Yeah, pretty much however you want to put them together. I even tried taking the side and cutting it off there. You know how some folders have that on the end of them. You can make folders with them. Yes, these can be used for your tabs, but I prefer to use my envelope for my folder. And then here I have another one where I just rounded the edges using the edge punch and another one here. And yes, you have a journal, a mini album, a list book, whatever you want to call it. And you can use this tool to make it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this. This will probably be the shortest tutorial I have ever done. Okay. I am going to use this paper. You can use I guess any size paper you want. You just have to figure out how to cut it across because this is a small this is a small tab thing. Okay. So first, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put that little gadget in tab A. Okay. Right there. And I'm going to Take, I'm going to use the same size cards and I'm just going to take that card. I hope. Let me get in here so you can see it. I'm going to take that card and I'm going to punch. You see that? Alright, I don't need that anymore because I have the base of my card. I want these to be large. So I'm going to line it up right here. It merely has small, medium, and large. And you guys... Don't look at my fingernails. I need to go cut them off. When I do my next video, they'll be cut, okay? <laughs> okay, and then I'll punch again. And that is my tab. There you go. It's as easy as that. I'm going to hold this up, and I'm going to line it up against this little tray here. And I'm going to take my little gadget. This is exactly like the Creative Memories Cutting System. I know... Um, uh, we are memory keepers probably don't want me to tell anybody that but okay I said it all right and then I'm just going to go across here and there is your tab I actually to put that book together that I showed you I then just took the end of this and put it in my cutting system and I made myself a tab yeah so that's one side now if I want to do the middle all you have to do is know the size of your paper to get the center, okay? So I do know that this is about, let me see, this is about six and a half inches. So I'm going to line this up with, with, let me put this back in here. 
there's some numbers on here if you can see they have numbers from you could see four five six seven all the way over to twelve and what you'll do is you'll if this was six inches I'm gonna line it up with six and I'm using large so I'm gonna line it up right there right I'm gonna line it up on the six large and I'm gonna punch there you are I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line it up with the large size there right I'm gonna punch it's in the center okay I'm going to take this and put it right there but I'm gonna put mine over here so that when I take my blade and put it in there it has enough space for me to actually move it around like I said if you the ones that actually have this creative memory systems uh, <laughs> cutting system have those they'll know how to use it exactly and there you are take that and I have another tab now if I want to do the other side remember I'll have to use this um, whether it's left or right or whatever side you want um, I'll have to use that little thing only when you want to do the edges or the sides of them okay I'm going to take my little thing put it in there and as long as you and, and that's what I'm cutting then I'm going to take it and line it up now this is going to make a difference if you are using patterned paper or if you're putting it um, if you're using a cutting system and it's your back page you're going to have to make sure when you do this even before you cover that you're able to flip this because it's just left to right if I was just using craft paper it didn't matter because if I wanted it for the top and I mistakenly had a top one already all I had to do was flip it but if I, I covered it already and it had printed paper or something on it and I flipped it the paper would be upside down yeah I pay attention to orientation okay so then I would have to figure it out you know because if it's printed paper or something you want to be real careful about the orientation so I'm going to go ahead and do the corner I want to round my edges so I just put it in there and I rounded it if I want to round all of them I just round all of them yeah but uh and then you do your your edges and there you put them in your book and there you are see I have two but if this one I, I made this mistake before because I did this it probably won't matter on here but if I cut it and I punch it you'll have to know if it's your left or right um, I was going to show you with one of these that I did and it, I did it on the wrong side I actually punched it both of them together so do them individually so that you'll know that this is the front of the book yeah I would do the inside of this book too but I just wanted to show you all I did this really quickly as you can see to put it together for you so that you could see how these tabs work remember the sidebar is for either way yeah and you can actually do a whole one mm -hmm. and yeah that's just using the sidebar this one is just using the sidebar on each one of your on either side yeah you just take it and flip it over yeah so there you go matter of fact I could show you with this one okay if I wanted to put the sidebar on each of these I'll see if it do I'll just slide that to sidebar put that in there it cuts my sidebar turn it over and it cuts that sidebar so I have a whole um, I have a whole thing that just used as a divider and there you are yeah this is cute you guys this is going to come in handy for so many people and so many different ideas and stuff yeah so um i don't know if i don't know if many have this but i know hsn just sent it out this week so i got mine and i just wanted to do the video and show you how it worked all right you guys um if you have any questions leave them in the comments thanks for watching talk to you later have a blessed day bye bye